with the current state right so there is that okay red mage summoner uh picto and then like a black mage for block black mage is just at the short end of the stick bro so yep okay let me pull this up real quick i guess then so yeah. let me pull this up because this is like a yeah we have like the statistics right now anyway right so yep. okay so we might as well use it for it man okay but yep <coughs> uh, which one is more reliable first extreme or second extreme i assume it's probably second extreme right first extreme has like you know some like a uh, ads that you can cheese you can double hit like the nails you can like you know triple hit the like uh, feathers etc so i assume probably like the second trial is probably more reliable right which is this one but yeah i feel like uh, with the simplicity of summoner it deserves to be like a uh, super low uh it deserves to be super low but i don't think it deserves to be lower than like bar dancer machinist so yep because like okay they have rest but i mean like you know they're limited to like rest every swift cast they have anyway right so yeah red mage is not limited to that and they are stronger than summoner right now so it's like why play summoner then go play red mage because like red mage can literally just rest the whole party on its own and then it does more damage as well so yep if he has to rest the whole party he will still do more damage than summoner so yep in the part where like summoner can't do anything because he can only rest like once or like have to hard cast the race right red mage will still be better at this point okay but yep we'll go through like this in a bit i guess like uh, the actual like a uh, thing right here okay because like uh this is nice and all but like I assume like they, they just don't talk about numbers yet, but yeah, because the numbers is important as well. Because there are some like sassy stuff out of these numbers here. So, yep. is it because Red Mage can rest off dual cast or the battle rest always available? Yeah, you don't need to like basically like you know, uh, say swift cast for that. You can basically rest like three, four people in a go right away. So, yep, and maybe five if you have like you know, lucid dream probably. I mean, you'll be at zero mana constantly, but but you can. So, yep. EX2 is harder to map also I feel hurt my samurai screaming for his uptime when we were on net. Uh, I think it's just like a EX2 with the what was it? Uh, it flies you up, kills your GCD because of that. So it drifts your GCD, right? So it's kind of annoying that way. Okay, other than that, it's kind of fun I guess. But yep, didn't think about being able to rest multiple people. Yeah. Okay, I think summoner is a bit like a uh, too low for this. It should be up there with red mage. So yeah, I mean yeah, summoner is like easy to play, but I don't think it's like should be like under like a uh, bar dancer etc. So yeah, to be fair, this is R D P S. If you're talking about A D P S, then maybe it's slightly different I guess. Okay, but yeah, but then again, yeah. <laughs> Okay, but yep. okay, red mage is still like in the end still stronger anyway than like a uh, summoner at that point. Okay, being below Bart, Lemao, yeah. Okay, I guess Bart is like technically like provides the most right now. Okay, which is funny because because they they changed the list in terms of like you know from Endwalker to like a uh, that right. So yeah, and then black mage get the short end of the stick. Unlucky black mage. Dude. Pictomancer is all the way up here. We're talking about 99 percentile by the way, but yep. But goddamn Pictomancer, man, it just shits all over everything. So, yep, it is like caster and it is shits all over everything. So, it has more movement than Black Mage and it's still stronger than that. Yeah, unlucky Black Mage, dude. So, yep. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, Black Mage is like the issue right here. I mean, maybe Pictomancer needs some nerf, but to be fair, uh, the confirmed change of like a uh, Pictomancer might nerf it a bit. So yeah, being able to click off that thing, right? So, so I guess there is that part right here. Okay, but yep. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Okay, and then of course you get like uh, the tanks as well, man. My samurai one small thing over my openers like a uh, damage uh, over like a uh, for oh pick, uh, for your pictomancer queue, you I mean? Yeah, well maybe pictomancer needs some adjustment queue, man. Namely a nerf or something like that. I don't know. Okay, maybe it's too good. Okay, maybe it's too good. Because at this point, maybe like two caster angle is like the way to go. Okay, but yep, you bring like maybe a rest caster and like a pictomancer. So, yeah. Heard the picto opener is so much DPS is unironically ripping aggro off like a uh, tanks. Mm, I have never seen any like a uh, tanks able, uh, any DPS able to like rip off aggro from my warrior. But then again, I pull with Tomahawk, so yeah. Maybe if they pull with Shadow Stride or like Trajectory, then yeah, maybe. Okay, the opener can like uh, be stolen, I guess. Okay, but yep. 
Didn't last have you seen the number uh, that did happen to me like uh, a few times? Okay, it depends on like how like uh, they open probably queue. So yep. Okay, but maybe that's why like they did the tank adjustment. Okay. And then like you know, make it like a uh, more more aggro, right? Omega, bro. Okay, but yep. it just depends on the tank, yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe, maybe. <coughs> okay, but yep. <coughs> Yeah, it depends on the tanks. The tanks might be like the thing. Yeah, tanks though, like, uh, they... Okay, this part right here, right? I think, like, Paladin needs, like, to be, like, much better than this, actually. Okay, but, yep, they're kinda, like, far behind. Okay, Warrior being better than, than Dark Knight is pretty funny. So, yeah, even counting ADPS as well. They are still better than, like, a uh, Dark Knight. Sorry, Dark Knight, man. It's just inferior tank right here at this point. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, but Paladin looks like pretty weak for that. I feel like they need like a few hundred like more DPS for this. So yep, the gap between Gunbreaker to Dark Knight is kinda okay. Okay, but like a uh, Gunbreaker to Paladin is a bit too far. I feel like so yeah, they're like in our DPS right. Okay, they're like what? They're like 700 behind, and on ADPS they're like what? Like well, still 700 behind. So still the same, I guess. But yep. Paladin being far behind, like, once again, yeah, Paladin not allowed to be, like, a good, I don't get it, actually, I mean, they need to be, like, a, well, I mean, they just need a few hundred, like, extra, to be honest, so, yeah, is the thing for it, okay, Gunbreaker being, like, really good, I guess that's to be expected, right, with, like, Lionheart combo and everything, okay, but, yeah, it's ADPS is really high, it's burst, it bursts really well, as well, so, I guess, like, uh, that's, like, kinda fine, but, yeah, but Paladin needs like some catch up for it, man. So, yep. because at this point, depending on like how tight like the DPS check, right? Then like, uh, yeah. Is it tax for Paladin having like uh, the most like a uh, mitigation? Okay, is it though? I mean, yes, you do have like passage, which is like the thing that you have over like uh, the other like uh, tanks, right? I guess. But does that like cost you like few hundred DPS though, or like what? Okay, does that uh, cost you that few hundred? I don't think it's worth like uh, that much. Okay, that passage that is. Okay, but yep. Because <laughs> like in at the end of the day, right? Like when you when you go into like a raid, right? There are like pretty low like part where like pretty like niche part where like oh you needed passage to survive this. Not really, right? It's good to like uh you know uh help party like uh, mitigate, but other than that, like you know. If like let's say the passage is not there, there is pretty low chance that it will kill you. Okay, but yep. And it's a really annoying skill as well to use, yeah. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it's cool, but that's all it was. It's just cool. Plus, warrior like have like what was it? Better better mitigation. So yeah, cause shake it off is busted. Okay, but yeah, because they keep buffing shake it off, right? You know, it heals the party, it shields them as well, and then it gives them regen as well at the same time. Bruh, okay, that's like, you know, that's OP, <laughs> okay, that's OP, <laughs> okay, yeah, warrior is like a, I mean, superior tank, bro, it is what it is, man, it's just the best tank, okay, but, yeah, <laughs> okay, but yeah, but like, the difference between gunbreaker, warrior, dark knight, that's kinda fine, it's kinda acceptable, I, I think dark knight should be above warrior, though, because like, you know, uh, dark knight is cringe, so there is that, okay, but, yeah, but Paladin, I think, like, definitely needs some buff. Okay, but, yeah, the, the tree is, like, kinda alright. Maybe Dark Knight should be higher, but Paladin needs, like, a few more, I think. So, yep. Okay, and then we get into, like, uh, the healers as well. Okay, but, yep. Wait a minute. Oh, this is ADPS Omega. That surprised me a bit. But, yep. <coughs> mm, sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. Okay, but, yeah. Those are in Dark Knight's row, are they meant to be like the ideal like off tank? Uh, not necessarily, because like there is not really like, you know, a uh, role like difference. Technically, they can always like main tank or like off tank. Okay, but Dark Knights just don't want to main tank. Because like they don't have sustain. Okay, but yep, Warrior have the best like sustain. Okay, like a uh, Paladin after level 84 with the spell uh, like, you know, uh, healing themselves as well, then they have like better sustain than like a uh, most tank as well. Okay, then Gunbreaker, then Dark Knight. So, yep. Okay, I mean, like, uh, I don't think like they're meant to be ideal of tank. It's just like uh, Dark Knight's like kit is just kind of like, you know, Omega. Okay, but yep, they just wanted to off tank. They don't want to hold the boss if possible, basically. Okay, but yep. 
And then there is the Astro part as well, man. Okay, but yep. Okay, people are like uh, not liking Astro, I guess, right? But turns out Astro is like stronger so far, so. Yeah, and then like Astro is only gonna get buff as well. So yeah, because like we we we're confirmed that like you know Astro will have their like you know, uh, draw uh, recast like reduce and also light speed as well. Okay, maybe that would make it like more like accessible to be honest. L if light speed becomes like 60 second, okay, then like uh, it will be much more like a uh, what was it manageable I guess. Okay, for this one right here. Okay, light speed recast time adjusted and also be charge action. So yep. Okay, 99% implies got like draw luck as well, right? Draw luck, there is no luck anymore on draw like a uh, Babelman. So yeah, that's not a thing anymore for like a... Uh, for that. So yep, it implies like good party though. Okay, because like you know, your party actually make use of the like a uh, raid buff. So... Yeah. I feel like people do like Astro, but I feel like meh regarding draw and like a uh, light speed. I feel like people are saying that like uh, they don't like uh, the current like Astro. I feel like it's because too much like single off GCD or like your uh, what was it? Your Spire, your like Ewer, stuff like that, right? Those becomes kind of like you know, if you don't need the miti the mitigation or like the healing or everything, right? You just throw it for shits and giggles, you know? Okay, but yeah, the use is like kind of niche. Okay, the part where like let's say a ball would be useful to throw to the tank is like only when like it lines up with like a tank buster let's say for something like that right so but other than that if you had to draw again then you would just throw it for shits and giggles okay it, it doesn't feel good basically clicking that not to mention you have to click like the target one by one <laughs> so yeah, maybe it, it's it's just clunky i guess clicking the buttons one by one okay but yep yeah, throw it on empty, it's probably useful, but it's not something that's like, wow, so good, man. But, <laughs> okay, in the end, the only thing that matters is, like, the balance and, like, uh, the spear, right? So, that, which is the DPS card one. Okay, but, yep. Okay, but at the same time, they are still, uh, they are, like, strongest, like, a uh, job right now. Macrocosmos is gonna be adjusted, right, is it, I think? So yeah, Macrocosmos adjusted, that's probably just gonna make it like same potency as Malefic to be honest. I don't know why they are not same to begin with, but I guess like they just forgot, so yeah. Okay, but yeah. Okay, the thing is different in Extreme 1 though. Okay, in Extreme 1, that's the difference. So yeah. Okay, Scholar suddenly went down down, and White Mage like went up. Okay, but yeah. But I guess it's like attributed because of like the raid damage like uh, that like uh, they have right because like raid damage from like a uh, extreme one is quite a lot actually blame healer strike for that so yep i swear man okay this like a uh, don't really like content is like you know does so much damage even on dungeon uh, people keep dying to like damage bro <laughs> i swear i swear okay <laughs> i swear the healer strike happens and then square enix is like ah let's make everything does 20 percent more damage you know okay <laughs> just for shits and giggles I mean, it is good, yeah. It is good, it is good. But, like, it's not even Q. Because, like, on second extreme, the only, like, you know, damage are generally only on, like, you know, actualized, right? That's basically, like, your big raid damage right there. Other than that, it's just mistake. You get hit by the sword, you get hit by, like, you know, the donut, etc. Okay, so that's not, like, raid damage per se, right? Okay, but, yeah. But, like, uh, this one, like, yeah, it's a lot of, like, healing needed. So I guess scholar just spend their ether flow like a healing rather than energy draining. So yep. Okay, but I think that should be like the standard though. Okay, that should be standard for it. Okay, but yep. Still though, okay, Astro being up here means that like, hmm, do they uh, does the healer like a uh, balance enough right now currently or like not is the question I guess. Okay, but yep. <clears throat> yeah, well, okay. <clears throat> second extreme is just, I don't know. Second extreme is more similar to like older content where like there is less damage, I guess. You can just off GCD heal everything. Okay, while well, like first extreme, okay, should be the norm where like, you know, uh, your tools is just not enough. Okay, you're just gonna need to GCD heal at one point. So, <clears throat> but I guess we'll see on this one, I guess. Okay, but yeah, we will see, we will see. <clears throat> okay, but yep. 
Okay, there is like some changes as well. Okay, Mong, I guess. Okay, but yep, making it like a more like a easier, I guess. Okay, damn, bro. Okay, Mong enthusiasts are molding because like you know. Oh man, it's too easy now. Okay, <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, nobody plays Mong because it's too hard as well. At the same time. Okay, but yep. Okay, Astro Viper. Viper is like, yeah. Mm -mm. I mean, they have like too much like a. Uh, Positional, actually. So, yep. Man, positional are, are just cringe, bro. So, okay, but yeah, need to like uh, remove positional from that, actually. Okay, black mage, basically nothing changed. Unlucky black mage, bro. So, yeah, tank is just aggro issue. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, so your samurai friend Q. Okay, does he not complain that like Setsugeka, like uh, the Tendo version is like, you know, longer recast? Because I don't even get like why that's even a thing. I don't even get it, bro. So yep. So now like they're gonna re be reducing it probably to the usual recast. But it's like why is it even up there in the first place then? Okay. Also I don't get what this is for. Okay. Red mage extending the effect duration of like magnification. But what does that even matter? This only matters on downtime. I guess maybe in dungeon probably you would pre magnification. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe. Don't know, heard he wasn't happy with those changes as well. Well, I mean, like Tendo Setsugeka and Kaishi Setsugeka becomes like a, uh, I assume, like standard recast. Probably it's just gonna be like, you know, it's not gonna change your rotation. So, yep. Because, like, uh, this one have like longer recast. So the assumption is that, like, you would use less filler now. Okay, but. Yeah, I don't know, I guess, uh, for that one. I don't know how it would affect it. Okay, but, yep. But I assume Red Mage is basically unchanged anyway. And then there is the Pictomancer change, I guess. Which is probably kinda like a nerf for them as well. Okay, but yep. Okay. <clears throat> guess it's an oversight to be able to click off your like a uh, buff, right? So yep. Okay, and now like uh, they're gonna make it like a uh, not removable, I guess. Okay, I guess, I guess. <clears throat> but well <clears throat> well well well. I guess like uh, that's like all of it as well, man. Okay. <clears throat> that's all like a uh... This like DPS chart for it, I guess. Okay, but yep. <clears throat> yeah, need some number buff, man. Okay, need some number changes here and there. Okay, but yep. <clears throat> okay, yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> okay, but I wonder if like uh, later in like Savage, right? Okay, will the DPS check be like kinda tight? So yeah, cause at the same time, like uh, okay, with the addition of Viper now. There is like a comp where like zero party buff, you know. You got two tanks, white mage and sage, and then you have viper, samurai, black mage, and machinist. So yep, zero party buffs for that. All selfish like a uh, jobs. Okay, so the only thing you need to do is like optimize your pot window and then just press all buttons. You can just like you know uh, like a uh, reawaken for viper like at any time. Okay, no need to save for like double reawaken. Okay, no like a uh, yeah, no specific lineup you need to do. And I feel like, I don't know. Okay, that's just a fun angle. <laughs> but I don't know if like that comp, you know, might get cut, you know. Okay, if the DPS check is like tight enough that like you can't clear with that comp, that's gonna be weird though. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess we'll see with that man. We will see, we will see. Yeah, we'll see if like the numbers will change more than that. But other than that, I guess like uh, this is like uh, mainly the changes that's coming. Okay, mainly man. <coughs> but yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's basically everything, man. <coughs>